Hello everyone, this is Abhijit here and we are back with our new video series of Chess Trap Series Part 5. Today we will be looking at the 5 positions and uh, looking at the 5 traps getting from different 5 openings. So let's begin the thing. The first game is from the Queen's Indian defense and it's from the black side. White plates d4, black plays knight f6, white plays c4, black plays e6. Now white plays nf3. Now what is uh, normally if you play knight c3 and uh, normally black plays bishop b4, knights are named so Indian normally prefer do not prefer this because you get the equality very easily at the higher level. So b6 goes inverse to the queen's Indian. White plays bishop g5, black plays bishop b7, white plays e3, black plays h6. Now white plays bishop h4, maintaining the queen. Black plays bishop b4 check, white plays knight bd2. And now comes here the move g5. Very very interesting move. So this was not white was expecting because now here white cannot play knight g5 because pawn g5 and bishop g5 and this bishop is back. So you have just two pawns for the piece. So that is not good. So bishop g3. And now black plays a very interesting move. g4. Now what does black try? And the whole idea of black is to on the pin. Now if say for example white plays knight h4, black plays knight e4 and then this piece is lost. So white gets a thread that if you take my knight I take the bishop. But now I would like you to pause the video and think for a minute. Okay. Best move here is g goes. Now he takes it and f plus g. Now this is a pawn double attack or a pawn fork you can say. And black wins the game. Levitz revise the game. D4 and F6, C4, E6, Knight F3, B6, Bishop G5, Bishop B7, E3, H6, Bishop H4, Bishop B4, check, Knight D2, G5, G4, takes, takes, and here the PC. Let's move to our next position. The next position, let's take. The Rui Lopez position. White plays e4, black plays e5, white plays knight f3, black plays knight c6, white plays bishop b5. All natural looking moves. a6, bishop a4, knight f. And now black plays knight e4. Now there are two variations one is bishop b7 and followed by b5, the close variation. That's a natural move, but black wants to go for a double edge position. He wants to play for a win, and he goes for the open variation. Now the best move here is d4. Black plays b5, bishop b3, d5. Now white plays d cross e5. Now white is threatening on the d5 pawn, attacking with the two things. So black supports it. Now the c3. Now why c3? That he wants to protect the bishop. The main uh, bishop, main bishop is the c. To bishop or the beat light square bishop is the main bishop in the Rui Lopez. So bishop e3, rook e1, now castle. Every notch, all the moves are natural. Now white play knight d4. Now black has two choices. The black can play knight e5, but knight e5 does not lead to much so anywhere because uh, if he plays knight e5, then you have f3, and if he takes it back, you get the knight back. And say for example he goes for some counter attack, you can play rook e2, he will play bishop f2, rook f2, knight f2, king f2. And that is a slightly better game for white and black does not gain anything out of it. But, so black here does not go for capturing the pawn normally. So black plays it to be in d7 and now this is a plunder. I, I hope you like to pause the video for a minute and think about the best move. Yeah, the black play 96. Very interesting. Now, black play queen e6 and now rook e4. The piece down. Even if you are taken pawn takes e6, 
Then also it's rookie four and white is a piece, black is a piece down. Let's revise the opening. E4, E5, knight f3, knight c6. Knight e4, d4, b5, bishop e4, d cross e5, bishop e6, and the c3. Bishop e7, rook e1. Castle and knight d4. Queen d7, knight e6. Now he's left with queen e6 and rook e4. So we are done with the next position. Now let's go to a third position. The third position it's a legal sacrifice mate, which is a very very common mate, and I will uh, just have a browse of words because it's very easy. I hope many would have seen it. it's very very famous. So knight f3, bishop g4. It's a very famous thing that you should develop the knight before the bishops, and here he's developing the bishop before the knight. So white plays knight c3, black plays g6, and now like would you like you to pause for a minute and think about the move? Yes, here, best move is 95. Now, black was happy to take the queen, but it comes up the mid. Check. Let's revise it. e4, e5, bishop c4, d6, knight f3, bishop g4. He was happy that he trapped the queen. Knight, now, pin the knight, and now it's getting the queen. And so, check. So, we are done with our third position. Now, let's go to position number four. The position number four comes from the Rui Lopez Tinitz defense. White played e4, black played e5, white played knight f3, black played knight c6. White played bishop b5, black played e6, white played bishop a4, and black played d6. Now white played bishop c6. A very interesting move and it's a very good idea. It was a long discussed idea between Capablanca and Balakai. Now uh, the whole game revolves around the two pawns. The bishop pair and the double pawns. Black is having a double pawn at the same time he has a bishop pair. So it's an interesting position to know about. So d4, f6. Now knight c3, rook b8. Now, queen d3, knight e7. And now, white gives an intentionally pawn. The black had played rook b8 to keep the bishop here itself. But now, black, white plays bishop e3, setting up a trap. Now, he plays rook b2. Now, white plays d cross e5. Now, black has two choices, d cross e5 and f cross e5. Both leads to the same position. f cross e5. Now, there comes the real trap. Knight cross e5. Black takes it, takes, takes, and castle and the rook is gone. Okay. Let's revise the position with the same d cross e5. e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop e5, bishop cross e6, d cross e6, d4, f6, knight c3, rook b8, queen d3, and e7. Now bishop e3, setting up a trap. He takes it, take it. Now let's say with a D pawn, take it, take it, and now you have a castle. Either your pawn are taken, the rook. So never grab the pawn in the opening. Now let's move to the last position. The last position comes from the uh, King's Gambit. It's a Falk, Falk Beer counter gambit. You have a gambit and you throw the gambit. So black takes the pawn now. White plays knight e3. Black takes the pawn and white takes the pawn. Now here yeah, black is interested to go for a trap. So now black white thought that let's have this knight takes knight, pawn takes, bishop takes pawn, going for the rook and the check. So plus but black had something different in mind. White was happy to take it, and now he thought that he's getting the rook. Because he has a fork between the king and the rook. So he played bishop d7. Now he played bishop takes rook. And now you come with bishop g4 and the queen is drawn. He gave up the rook but took the queen. So let's revise the position. e4, e5, f4, d5. F and f3, d cross e4, knight e5, knight 6 bishop b5. Now knight f6, knight cross c6, b cross c6, bishop cross c7. 
bishop d7, bishop cross a8, and bishop g4. And the queen is trying. So here we complete our five positions. Hope you like our video. Kindly do like, share, and subscribe. And do share your inputs. Take care. Bye-bye. See you next time.